Well, it is five hours and 26 minutes into the 11th day of April 2021, and we are transitioning back to bed, uh, back to the sleep realm. We had, I had gotten up, uh, well, we had gotten up around, uh, around 3 o'clock in the morning, because remember, we is still the, 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 the cyborg alpha, we are cyborg alpha, the dual existence of uh, myself and Cyborg Alpha. So, uh, that produces the we. If you, oh, if you want to will, or if you will, the royal we. <laughs> um, I got up, uh, I did some gaming, about 45 minutes worth of gaming. Then I did uh, another hour's worth of uh, meditation. And I had... Uh, Myself, uh, basically, I made a, uh, a smoothie, uh, bananas, peaches, and milk tea. Uh, that was very satisfying. And uh, I also uh, poured off a batch of, uh, another batch of iced tea that I had made that, that, uh, that had sort of been brewing. brewing. Uh, I always do a cold brew, so it takes a couple of days for uh, the batch to set up. Uh, and then I pour it off. And I basically filter out all the materials that are in there, uh, thoughts in the garbage, and then uh, do a second filter uh, into the jug, uh, into the jar uh, or jug that I'm going to use to pour things out in. And that goes into the refrigerator. And I've got myself a nice batch, about 3.5 liters worth of uh, iced tea. And I said, it doesn't cost much because you don't need to use a lot of tea within uh, uh, each batch. So it, 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 it does provide a good amount of uh, very healthy, very nutritious. Uh, actually, it, it replaces an entire meal. Uh, like I'm, a, I'm, I'm as full as if I ate eaten an entire meal in terms of the energy and the... Uh, uh, what you call it, the nutrition, it's about the same. So I'm not really too concerned with, uh, you know, making myself, making sure that I have other things to eat, because all I need is the smoothie, and it's healthy enough to do that. These, this is the nature of, uh, of Chinese and Indian teas, is that not, they're not just simply uh, leaves, uh, a, a brewed batch of leaves. Uh, there's a variety, they're almost like a soup, uh, and it, what you put in it, uh, primarily determines the properties, the, the, the nutrient properties, or even in many cases, the health properties, uh, of whatever you're going to have in terms of how you're going, going to, uh, 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 brew the tea. And, uh, so it can be used in many cases as a meal, in addition to repairing certain problems, uh, that, uh, in terms of your health, that sort of uh, pop up as an issue. Uh, but then again, these are things you learn as you go along. And it's you know this is this is part of the journey. And I said we're still we're we're back on the path again. Uh, I'm expanding. I've expanded my research desk, uh, so that's more portable now. I can do more things in my portable office, so I can do uh, more research over over spread out over the day no matter where I am. So uh, that's kind of uh, how things are sort of being metered out. I will continue expanding uh, the research capacity over the summer uh, and pulling back a little bit more and sort of doing this sort of this transition from bed to uh, 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 from bed to uh, the awake and doing, doing the research out there uh, when I'm awake. And then transitioning back. And so right now I'm transitioning back to the sleep world. I'll be going back into there and doing my work in there. Uh, that will be for a couple hours. Probably around 10 o'clock I'll get up. Do another batch of work. Uh, and then come back uh, you know, and, and resume uh, my work in the sleep realm again. After probably around uh, noon, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So that that's how I am probably scheduling the summer out because I just can't I can't really stay away from the research. 
it's something that's sort of uh, part of who I am. It's part of being a nerd is that you enjoy the research. So, anyways, uh, the vlogs are doing well. Now that that's in mind. Uh, the editing is getting closer to the current date. I think I can get it within two weeks. Uh, but that still remains to be seen. And of course, if something happens where I can't do the editing, well, that's got to set things back again. So um, it looks like we're the furthest out we are is a month, but the closest in will be two weeks. So <laughs> I'll see you in the next segment. staying put and uh she keeps falling. Unfortunately uh when the uh bruises bumps
leave it, leave, leaving a distance is see necessary even when you're on a scooter. <laughs> Deriving rules come back to you as you, uh, the more you practice, the more you realize uh, why they're there, and uh, it's primarily about safety. put in a napkin rather than a Kleenex. It's easier to, easier to get at. Uh, I guess people aren't used to uh, people aren't used to the scooting vlog so uh, they kind of figure out who, kind of want to who I'm talking to. <laughs> I'm talking to the vlog. It's good to see Clintus back again. He's in better spirits, and I guess he got a little beat up in 2000 uh, in, in 2020. He kind of backed off and uh, sent a bit of a pump so there's not much blood. And now he's up and about again, and uh, okay, for that, so I'm back watching him. I've all, I always provide gentle
the moat. That's well, probably from the uh, the building to the left of me. They have a whole field, uh, like a ravine in there that's filled with moat. Those are the wood. That's the wood chips. three hours into the 10th day of April uh, 2021. Uh, we're going into Saturday. We're going into the weekend. Uh, and it's, the, the days are, 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 are basically it's been almost all week long one continuous uh, week, uh, one continuous day. I barely noticed uh, from the time I began on uh, Monday night or actually yeah, Monday night, uh, uh, but I mean Monday night, I mean uh, uh, 3 o'clock in the morning Monday, so that's Monday night, it's still, it's night time at the time, that's Monday, uh, and I've been sort of, you know, uh, it's doing things on and off, let me adjust the camera here for a bit, there we go, <sighs> I, I, I've been adding more sleep to the schedule. There was one day I just slept all day long. So there really wasn't much to vlog. That's where I kind of missed a day. And I don't notice in my editing that I do miss days. There are days that are just entire days that I've completely missed. Uh, and they're just sort of, you, you see the gap in the uh, video dates. And you see there's, oh, there's an entire day missing. <laughs> it's like, what happened? <laughs> you know, I don't even remember missing the day. But then you would go look. Then you try to think back. And say, well, what happened? Well, a large chunk of the time I was sleeping. It's just so there was no wasn't really an opportunity to vlog because uh, I've been, I was sleeping. And, it, and sometimes when you just wake up, you're not in the press. You're not in the state of mind. Although I might try to do that even when I'm not in the state of mind to vlog anyway. So you get. All different types of uh, all types of segments uh, within the vlog. You know, you have the writing segments, you have the kitchen segments, you have uh, uh, in, in, uh, in the summer you'll have the uh, uh, the music room, uh, music studio uh, segment. And you have back here, you, and now you also have the bed as well. So there's a number of different places uh, where I can film. Uh, I got uh, the delivery in today, which is basically a milk. Uh, so I didn't bother filming that. Uh, I sat down and did my uh, ordering for the summer, the, the the different things I need for the summer, because, well, 
uh, there is a two month uh, a two month uh, wait for some certain items. So uh, we're up to two months anyway. So if I'm ordering now in April, uh, I'm not going to get them until June, and that's when the warm big weather begins. And so I have to change my bedding. So I got a whole new uh, set of bedding. I got uh, a number of things that will sort of make uh, the uh, the ride through the summer easier. Just the way I rode through the winter at 60 degrees, uh, between 55 and 60 degrees, I will be riding through the summer at 85, 80 to 85 degrees. That's the, that's the intended goal. Uh, I did that somewhat last summer. There were certain days where it did peak above, uh, the 85. It got into the 90 range, and so, but I'm going to try to sort of, uh, uh, bring that down a bit, bring that down to about 5, but it, it, the... Length of time it was at 90 degrees was uh, rather short. It wasn't, it was maybe a one or two days. Uh, it was like that, and then uh, after that, it just sort of cooled down. Uh, and the thing is, you learn how to adjust, you learn how to, and this is where I learned how to use the tees. The tees are, are, are very, uh, they're very cooling. The, the tee that I make actually cools the body. You feel um, the body. Uh, go into something called an endothermic reaction where the body actually starts to consume heat. Normally the body produces heat. When you're having carbohydrates, the body produces heat. <coughs> and that's good for the winter. So in the winter, you do a lot of carbo. You do a lot of carbohydrates. Because in the winter, at low temperatures and through the extreme conditioning, your body's burning off the energy. Because that's how you produce the heat. But in the summer, you don't want that. What you want is you want something leaner. You want the endothermic reaction, and the tea gives you the endothermic reaction. And this is how you sort of work through the temperature ranges. And right now, in in, in uh, now, sort of the springtime, and the same thing in the fall, is the transition from the cold extreme conditioning to the uh, warm extreme conditioning. But I think the uh, warm, sorry, the warm, uh, the cold extreme conditioning is more difficult on the body because it really puts the body through uh, a physical strain that uh, uh, can be very difficult on the body. It, 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 the, bo the body tends to, because you're right at, at between 55 and 60, you're right at the shiver zone. It depends on where you, sh where you start shivering, where the body starts to shake. Uh, from fr from the coal, just to try to heat itself up. You don't want to be in shivering the entire time. You want to be just slightly above it. Uh, so what happens is that the muscles, in order to produce the heat, the heat, heat uh, activate. Right, even though you're sitting there, the muscles activate, and they're activated, and they're and they're in a pump position. They're in a, a clenched position. Simply to keep the energy up, to keep the uh, carbohydrates flowing, to keep the uh, uh, the body warm. But in the in the summer, it goes in the opposite direction, where you have a relaxation uh, <coughs> of the muscle uh, within uh, the, the the extreme heat, and so the muscle tends to fall off. It tends to shrink. Uh, because it's not being used in the same manner on a continuous basis as it was in the winter. So as I was going to say, I think the cold, in terms of the physiology, is more difficult on the body. It's harder on the body than it is uh, when it's warm. So in terms of the heat, or when you have the heat. But anyways, uh, that's kind of what's going on now. Uh, I switched my I switched my uh, my cell phone over to a new cell phone. So not really new. It's a, it's it's a. I have a lot of cell phones. I use them as devices. Uh, the Samsung is kind of crapping out on me now. It, the case is cracked, and so I moved it over to uh, the Chinese phone. Uh, the <laughs> the SIM is so old, and it's not functioning properly. So they're sending me a new SIM to replace uh, what I already have in there. Uh, keeping the same service and just sort of swapping out the SIM. And uh, going from there. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. And I'm going to go make myself a uh, 
I just had uh, the cinnamon toast. I make it myself. Uh, and I'm now going to have uh, a milk tea smoothie. 